January 2024 etched itself into the annals of scientific history as a pivotal moment in neurotechnology. Neuralink, the ambitious brain-computer interface BCI, company spearheaded by Elon Musk, achieved a monumental feat, the successful implantation of its N1 chip into a human being for the very first time. This groundbreaking event heralded the dawn of a new era, a future where the intricate dance between human cognition and artificial intelligence began to unfold in tangible ways. The pioneering recipient of this revolutionary technology was Nolan Arbaugh, a 30-year-old resident of Yumani, Arizona. Arbaugh's life had been profoundly altered by a swimming accident in 2016, leaving him quadriplegic, paralyzed from the shoulders down. His participation in Neuralink's initial human trial presented an unprecedented opportunity to explore the potential of BCIs in restoring lost digital autonomy and offering a pathway back to interaction with the digital world. The delicate and intricate implantation procedure was conducted at the esteemed Barrow Neurological Institute in Phoenix, Arizona. Remarkably, the surgery was completed with impressive speed and precision, taking approximately 30 minutes. The following day, Arbaugh was discharged, reporting no adverse cognitive effects, a testament to the meticulous planning and execution of the procedure. The initial results were nothing short of transformative. The N1 chip empowered Arbaugh to control a computer cursor using only his thoughts. This newfound ability unlocked a world of digital interaction that had previously been inaccessible. He could effortlessly navigate the internet, indulge in strategic video games like chess and Civilization VI, and communicate with greater ease and fluidity. Arbaugh himself eloquently described the experience as akin to wielding the force from the Star Wars saga, highlighting the intuitive and almost magical nature of thought-controlled technology. However, the journey of innovation is rarely without its hurdles. A month after the groundbreaking implantation, Neuralink disclosed that a significant portion, up to 85%, of the ultrafine electrode threads embedded in Arbaugh's brain had retracted. This partial detachment led to a noticeable degradation in the device's performance, raising concerns about the long-term stability of the implant. Instead of resorting to further invasive surgical procedures, Neuralink demonstrated its adaptability and ingenuity by implementing sophisticated software updates. These updates were designed to compensate for the reduced number of functional connections, allowing Arbaugh to regain a substantial degree of the initial functionality. Undeterred by this initial setback, Arbaugh continued to embrace the potential of his neural implant. He affectionately named his device Eve and embarked on a journey of intellectual exploration. Leveraging the power of his thoughts, he began learning new languages, including French and Japanese, and delved into subjects like mathematics and the intricacies of the Bible. Arbaugh also harbored aspirations of returning to academia, with a keen interest in studying neuroscience, driven by a desire to use his unique experience to offer hope and assistance to others facing similar challenges. Building upon the invaluable insights gained from Arbaugh's pioneering trial, Neuralink proceeded with the implantation of the N1 chip into a second human participant, publicly identified as Alex. Alex's surgical procedure proceeded smoothly, mirroring the efficiency of the first, and he was discharged the day after the implantation. He enthusiastically began utilizing the device to engage with video games and explore the complexities of computer-aided design CAD, software further showcasing the versatility and broad applicability of the N1 chip beyond basic computer interaction. In March 2025, Neuralink announced another significant milestone, the successful implantation of the N1 chip into a third human patient. This expansion of the clinical trials underscores the company's unwavering commitment to rigorously testing and refining its technology across a diverse range of individuals, gathering crucial data to optimize its performance and understand its long-term impact. Capitalizing on the progress with the N1 chip, Neuralink unveiled ambitious plans for a novel device dubbed Blindsight. This innovative technology is specifically designed to restore a semblance of vision to individuals who have suffered complete vision loss including those with damage to both eyes and the optic nerve. Recognizing its transformative potential, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, granted Blindsight a breakthrough device designation in September 2024. This designation is intended to expedite the development and regulatory review process for technologies that address life-threatening or irreversibly debilitating conditions.
The blind sight chip operates on a fundamentally different principle than traditional vision restoration methods. It bypasses the damaged eyes and optic nerves entirely, directly stimulating the brain's visual cortex. By transmitting visual information directly to the neural pathways responsible for processing sight, BlindSight aims to provide a form of artificial vision, potentially revolutionizing the lives of individuals with severe visual impairments and offering them a renewed connection to the visual world. Human trials for the BlindSight device are slated to commence in 2025, building upon promising results observed in preclinical animal studies. Elon Musk has even suggested that future iterations of BlindSight could potentially offer visual capabilities that surpass natural human vision, including the ability to perceive an infrared, ultraviolet, and even radar wavelengths, hinting at a future where technology could augment human senses in profound ways. Adding another significant stride in its global validation efforts, Neuralink received approval in April 2025 to conduct its first international clinical trial in Canada. This trial will focus on individuals with tetraplegia, further expanding the company's research to encompass diverse populations and navigate different regulatory frameworks. The FDA's breakthrough device designation for both the N1 chip and the BlindSight technology unequivocally highlights the immense potential of Neuralink's innovations to address the unmet needs of individuals living with severe disabilities. These designations facilitate a more streamlined development and testing process, bringing these potentially life-altering technologies closer to widespread clinical application and offering a beacon of hope to those who have long faced significant limitations. As Neuralink continues its rapid advancements in neurotechnology, ethical considerations remain paramount. While the potential to restore lost functions offers immense hope and the promise of a better quality of life, it also raises critical questions surrounding privacy, informed consent, the long-term effects of implanting artificial devices within the delicate structure of the human brain, and the potential for unintended consequences. Neuralink has strategically filed for a range of trademarks, including evocative names like telepathy, telekinesis, and blindsight, alongside more technical designations such as Link, N1, and R1. These trademark filings suggest that the company's long-term vision extends beyond simply controlling external devices through thought. They hint at the potential for technologies that could one day facilitate direct telepathic communication between humans, blurring the lines between individual minds in ways previously confined to the realm of science fiction. Despite the inherent ethical complexities and the technical challenges that lie ahead, the progress achieved by Neuralink in its first year of human trials is undeniably significant. With ongoing rigorous research and relentless development efforts, the company aims to progressively expand the capabilities of its brain-computer interfaces, with future aspirations including the intuitive control of robotic limbs and a wide array of other assistive technologies designed to enhance human independence and well-being. Looking towards the horizon, Neuralink envisions a future where its brain-computer interfaces are seamlessly integrated into the fabric of daily life, not only providing solutions for various neurological conditions but also fundamentally enhancing human capabilities. The company is actively exploring applications that extend beyond purely medical uses, such as enabling users to control a multitude of devices through the power of thought alone, potentially revolutionizing how we interact with the technological world around us. However, the path to this ambitious future is not without its obstacles. Significant challenges remain in ensuring the long-term safety, widespread accessibility, and economic affordability of these sophisticated devices. Neuralink must navigate complex and evolving regulatory landscapes across different nations, proactively address legitimate ethical concerns raised by society, and rigorously demonstrate the long-term efficacy and reliability of its technologies to achieve widespread clinical adoption and societal acceptance. Neuralink's remarkable journey, from a bold concept to tangible clinical trials involving human participants, represents a significant leap forward in the field of neurotechnology. The experiences of pioneering individuals like Nolan Arbaugh and Alex serve as powerful testaments to both the transformative potential and the inherent challenges of seamlessly integrating brain-computer interfaces into human lives. As the company continues to push the boundaries of scientific innovation with new and ambitious devices like Blindsight, the world watches with a mixture of anticipation and cautious optimism, hopeful for the transformative possibilities that lie ahead in this uncharted territory of the human mind and machine interface.